Hey, how's it going boys and welcome to a brand new squad with a Today's video what I've got for you is a beast team. It's worth roughly about 150,000 coins, give or take. It might be like 10,000 coins more, 10,000 coins less, something like that, depending on how pre uh, player prices go now and what console you're on. I'm on the Xbox One, so for me it's roughly about 145 to 150,000 coins or something like that. Or I believe that's how much I actually paid for the team. It could be worth a little bit more in the upcoming days, but it could not be, I'm just saying. So, without further ado, let's actually have a look at the goal keeper and back line. In goal, we have got Adrian from West Ham. He cost me 1,200 coins. He's six foot two, and he's got really decent stats this year compared to previous years. He's got the acrobatic save star, which I like for tall goalkeepers. And he's actually got some really nice stats with 80 diving and 86 reflexes. Now, in game, he made a couple of mistakes, but all in all, he was a pretty solid keeper, may I say so myself, for my team, and he was really decent. Now, in the right back spot, we've actually got Manquillo. Manquillo was a really, really decent stri uh, right back, I was about to say striker, for 1,200 coins. Played 12 games for me. He did make a whole lot of mistakes he was quite fast and he feels quite tall even though he's only 5'11 he stopped quite a lot of left wingers and he was a pretty decent right back to say the least the right center back is actually per Mertesacker a lot of people are put off with the 27 pace. Not even joking, lads. He's really good. Now, in this game, what you'll find is it's difficult to defend sometimes because if you've got players with, like, um, you've got center backs with quite a bit of pace, you're inclined to kind of run out to the ball and try and stop them from attacking more. Whereas Per Mertesacker actually stays back and he sort of, like, jockeys without even jockeying. And it's really good because he's always behind everyone else. So when they finally break through the back line, Per is there to do bits. And he actually does really, really well. And he's one of my favorites centre backs in this game not even joking lads the left centre back is Luis Hernandez from Leicester City four star weak foot medium high work rates he's only six foot but he's got a bit of pace I thought I'd put someone with a bit of pace there with Mertesack having only 27 and they work as a really decent partnership not gonna lie he cost me 1700 coins mainly because he's from Leicester and he's Spanish and he's in the BPL um, but he actually wasn't bad at all he played really well in my opinion um, and next to Per Mertesack they were the perfect centre back partnership and then on the left back spot we have actually got Benyat or Bernard now, however you want, it's actually burn not Ben yet. A thousand coins, 79 pace, 82 dribbling, and 76 defending with 76 passing. He was really decent. He was more there with his left foot to kind of ping balls across the uh, across the pitch to the pacey left forward, right forward, and striker. Um, and all in all, it was actually a really decent player. Like I really like him on this game. The midfield now, and right to left, we have got E.K. Gundawan from Man City. He's got four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, and he's only 5 foot 11, but he's got really decent uh, stats across the board. 75 pace, 87 dribbling, 72 shooting, 84 passing, and 72 physical. He's only got 63 defending, but he's more of the attacking midfielder out of the three. I use him more to try and do some decent passes into the left forward and right forward. He's really good at just slotting them through or even taking it himself and scoring some pretty decent goals. He only scored two and assisted two out of the 15 games I play with him, but mainly because I used to play him as a centre mid in a uh, quite a defensive formation, and I realised he's actually more of an attacking midfielder. So I use him pretty much to attack up the pitch. The middle centre mid now is Yaya Torre. He's six foot two and he's an absolute beast, if I may say so myself. Now he's a, he's also a slightly attacking, but he's really good at making tackles and getting stuck in. He's got really good passing on him. Honestly, he's one of the best passers I've used, and he's got an incredible long shot. He was really good at just holding up play in the midfield. As he's so tall, he's got really good physical. He kind of just like won every single header, and he kind of just like held up play, which I really appreciated by him. And the next one is actually one of my favourite plays on this game. Now is Renato Sanchez. He's more of a uh, an all-round machine like literally this guy is absolutely incredible on this game he is so good he's an absolute machine he just gets every tackle passes the ball up starts making chances starts making really good play unfortunately he didn't actually score or assist too much for me but he was always in every single build up to the attack and honestly one of my new favorite players in FIFA 17 I'm definitely going to hold on to that card Right forward now, we've actually got someone that I packed. It is Leroy Sane. Now, this guy is decent. He's only got three-star skill moves, which is a little bit annoying, but he's got a pretty decent left foot, and he's got 91 pace and 83 dribbling. And mainly, his sort of purpose was just to get in behind the players, and if he couldn't sweat it across, just either cross it across or go for it himself. In the 14 games I played with him, he only scored me three goals and got me two assists because his finishing isn't brilliant. But apart from that, he's incredibly quick, and he's really good at shaking off players, and I do like him a lot. 
The striker now is Luke Remy. Luke Remy is really, really good in this game. He's got really decent pace and really good shooting. Four star skill moves, which I really like about him, and medium, medium work rates isn't the best, but if you do press back line and get him behind on in player instructions, he's really decent. Is he worth 10,000 coins? Probably not, but he's still a really decent player in this game, and I definitely recommend trying him out if you guys haven't already. And now we get to the left forward, and possibly my favorite winger in this game now. Now, I've tried out Ribery, and this guy is better than Ribery. It is Komen, Kingsley Komen. This guy literally boss the attack for this team he was the attack like there was no one else who was uh, creating as many chances as Kingsley Coman was and he was playing really well for 8,000 coins this card is an absolute steal and I definitely recommend you guys try it and pick him up if you guys can so that's the squad builder guys if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like down below subscribe if you guys aren't around here enjoy the gameplay and I'll see you lads later Surprise, particularly to the opposition who were dominating them. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. Tackle goes in. Gundawan, goal! And they've gone into the lead. Although they've been second best for much of this game up to now. But they take the lead and it's a fine piece of finishing. Opportunity here. What a lovely death finish that was. The reaction here is coming from the home supporters. Jeers and whistles. They're... Remy! That's a gift for them. It's an own goal. This is how they love to play on the break. It's a real opening here. It's a shutdown. Read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy actually. It was good progress with this attack. We take the lead. Gundua has the breakthrough. It's been a very good kick. Come on. Could be dangerous. In with a chance. Goal! Well, it's the dream scenario. Scoring on your debut. It takes so much of the pressure off. Well, it got a bit of help from the inside of the post, but it, in it goes. Well, that can be truly described as unstoppable. Nicely played through ball. And in goes the cross. Remy! Well, that's a fantastic goal. He has made and one. It is now the scorer. Referee has indicated. Trying to thread it through here. Three minutes. Shot off! And he scores! Oh, it's another fine goal. Uh, the keeper, just had to pick 